coming back to the fat thing, what about different body types? You know, because, you know, obviously we're not all the same. We're not all the same shape. You know, people, you know, women have heavier hips and thighs and things like that. How does all that work with the body fat kind of relationship? You know, is that if we've got big thighs and subcutaneous fat there, is, is that healthier and not such, not such a problem? And that's why we're not worrying about weight and that's why we're doing the waist measurement. Yeah, I think it's a good point. And going back, um, well, going way back to the three basic body types, you know, you've got your, your ectomorph and your, your mesomorph and your, your endomorph. Um, and all the attempts through the years, clinically and scientifically, to um, uh, evaluate fat clinically uh, without having to get a DEXA scan uh, or get in a, a tub of water. Um, uh, it's all come out uh, in the last decade uh, to where all those body types are, you know, I, I think all that information gets thrown out the window. Right. Uh, because we have waist to, hit, to height ratio that's effective for all ethnicities, yeah. men, women, and children. Yeah. And all body, and all body shapes. And all body shapes and sizes and, and yeah. all ages. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we've really simplified it. Mm. Uh, because an mm. ectomorph can get over fat uh, just as easy as anyone else. The ectomorph, uh, you know, will tend to have more abdominal fat. Uh, yeah. they, they may tend to be the ones who are uh, normal weight, non-obese, who are over fat, where the ectomorphs tend to be heavier um, and so they're, they're overweight and obese mm. more, but, but none of that really matters anymore yeah. because you're either over fat or you're not. And there's a pretty clear boundary. Right. And if yeah. you're right on the line, pay attention. That's a red flag. Yeah. Um, uh, because as we age, we tend to build up more body fat if we're not careful. That's because as we age, we become more carbohydrate intolerant. We become more insulin resistant. And so um, hypothetically, and it, it's worked this way for me, um, I, I know when I have to reduce my natural carbohydrates a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, from that 17, 18 years of age point uh, to today, I've had a gradual it's need to reduce my carbohydrate, my natural mm -hmm. carbohydrate intake, because that's how um, insulin resistance works. And there's a genetic component to that, although the environment influences it um, to a, a greater extent. But as we age, this is what happens, and we have to keep adapting to our environment to be compatible with, with our body at the moment. And then I suppose we've got the muscle loss too that comes along with age. So, you know, we've got sort of yeah, loss of very, strength and then loss of muscle mass as well. So yeah, that's quite significant. Uh, yeah. we, we, lose that, um, we lose that muscle mass, which is not as much of a problem. Muscle mass and muscle strength are not necessarily related. There's plenty of skinny people out there who have a lot of strength. Mm. Um, and muscle, a lot of muscle mass is not necessary to, to be healthy. Some people like building it because it, you know, it makes them look cool, that's okay. Um, and if we lose that as we age, that's okay. But if we lose strength, it, it is a problem, it's a big mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. um, and, and weakness is a real serious problem in the world. It's serious in people who are inactive and it's serious in people who are exercising regularly, especially endurance athletes. Mm. You know, weakness is a very prevalent problem. Yeah. 